Well, it looks like the Roblox has some competition. Now, we have the Dreambot Z10 Pro, has a self emptying bin, and the robot has 150 minutes of runtime, 4,000 pascals a section, electronically controlled bobbing, 3D object recognition, the list goes on and on. But, is it better than the Roblox S7? Start zone cleaning. <laughs> Okay, let's go and go in slow-mo real quick and you guys can see how that works. You can see that the debris is flinged off to the left there. There's only one side even though it looks like it has a dual extractor port. The other side is the air outlet where it helps with the self-emptying bin process. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the self-emptying bin's capabilities. I put some mixture of rice, some almonds, and also some crushed up cereals to see how well they do with the variety of debris. Now, this is the Roblox S7's dustbin uh, over here, and this is the DreamyBot Z10 Pro's dustbin over here. Now, you may notice the large opening on the Z10 Pro versus the Roblox S7, but on the Z10 Pro, you can open up the dustbin and reveal a very large opening to allow easy access to section it out if you need to be. Now, one downside is this little area is only for the self-emptying part, so then debris is contained by this magnetic flap right here. So it only is used when self-emptying makes the dustbin a little bit smaller than the previous generation. Okay, so on the Roblox S7, the container is completely sealed, so unfortunately, you cannot open it up to clean out. But both dustbins are washable and the filters are washable as well. Okay, let's go and uh, see how well the self-emptying bin works, and then we'll continue on with this video. So, looks like there is some dirt debris in this dustbin still. Let's check out the Roblox S7. So you really can't see much, but we'll dustbin see if the removed. dustbin's empty. Yeah, so right now the Roblox S7 is beating out the Dreambot Z10 Pro. Dustbin well, it seems like Roblox definitely stole the spotlight for 2021 when they released the Roblox S7 with the self empty bin, but looks like Roblox might have some competition. This is the Dreambot Z10 Pro, which offers a lot of navigation with the self empty bin and also they take it a step further by offering that 3D detection system so it can detect small objects in front of it and go around it. 
Now, I did previously test the L10 Pro, which is basically the baby brother to the Z10 Pro. Now, the Z10 Pro does have some increased specs. For example, this guy has 4,000 pascals of suction. Also, they redesigned the extractor bar, so it should do better on carpet. Now, the battery life is the same, around 150 minutes. This guy also has a smaller dustbin size, around 400 millilitres, where the L10 Pro had like a 510 milliliter dustbin. But, not a huge deal since this guy does have the self emptying bin. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and unbox this guy. We're going to do a first look and see what's included with the Z10 Pro. And give you about a month or so, I'll go ahead and thoroughly test this guy. And I'll do a secondary review video and see how well the Z10 Pro does. Okay, so overall, the box itself is really nice. And if you rotate the box, you can see some of the things. You do have the specifications right here. You have the auto empty, you got high precision 3D, 4,000 pascals of suction, and yes, this does have the 2-in-1 vacuuming and mopping as electronically controlled. You can see that laser system, it does detect slippers, shoes, small toys, small children, pets, anything you, you throw at it, it can go out and navigate. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, open up the box here. Alright, so I just lost a bunch of parts already. Okay, let's get... Ah! Hello, can you see my jolly face? Alright, so this is probably the most important thing, it's the quick start guide. Basically, you can use the Mi Home app, uh, just take your smartphone and scan the QR code. It's pretty simple to pair up, but if you want a more in-depth uh, instruction manual, here it is. Basically, it tells you everything about the raw vacuum, so make sure you guys read that, it's very important. Next, we have the mopping pad. This is electronically controlled. Look at the design of it, it's definitely different from what I've seen in the past. Maybe a little bit smaller, but you can see that water tank. I believe the water tank is around 150 milliliters, but you can see the little pump right there, the motor. Very cool. Alright, let's see what else is included. So, this was sitting on top of the uh, box here. Looks like we do have a side brush right here. Very nice. Um, has a three-arm bristle design. And let's check out, we have an extra disposable bag. Very large bag here. So this is, what, 4.23 liters of dirt can hold in this bag. So yes, you can get about one to three uh, months worth of dirt in this bag here. Okay, let's go and uh, check out the robot itself. So this is pretty nice. Uh, it looks like it's a different color scheme. It's a little bit like, uh, I guess, a metallic silver. And you do have a three-button layout here. You got the return to home, your power button, the clean button, and also you have a spot clean function. And here's your light on navigation, and it's clickable, so low hanging furniture won't bump its head. And there's that true detection sensor. It's kind of like how the iPhone works. I believe it projects uh, light or like different particles of light, hits an object, and then the camera sees that and go around it. So it's pretty accurate, works pretty well when I was testing the L10 Pro. Now let's go ahead and open up the flap here. You may notice the same design. Do you have a Wi-Fi indicator? A little reset which requires a tool and you do have this nice little cleaning tool uh has a cutter so if you can cut out the hair of the extract bar and clean the robot with these little bristles here so if you happen to lose the instruction manual don't fret you do have this quick start guide right here you take the qr code and load up the app and it tells you how to empty out the dustbin and to remove the filter all right so let's take a look at the dustbin here so, like I said, this is a 400 and some milliliter dustbin, and off to the side here is where the dirt exits out. And this is a very unique design where it's held on by a magnet, this little flap, and this is where the dirt exits out. And this is the inlet, held on by a little rubber flap, which goes through and into the filter. So, a very unique design, and you open up from the kind of a top here, and pretty large inlet to get the uh, vacuum in, like a little suction tool, and suction out this dustbin. But the dustbin itself is washable, so you shouldn't have any issues uh, cleaning this uh, dustbin. Okay, underneath the robot, so you can see the different clip sensors, and it's a single arm side brush, which I can install right now for you guys. It kind of snaps on here. There we go. And also, let's check out the redesigned extractor bar. So, this redesigned extractor bar has denser bristles, and it looks like we can remove the ends. Let's see. Yep, the ends can get removed. I believe the previous models, you couldn't do that. So I'm glad they redesigned the extractor bar to make it work a little bit better on carpet. And also, you do have the extractor ports right here. There's nothing in there. Empty. So 
still a pretty nice power cable and it looks like it's very long. Yep, that's everything in that box. I can come over this side. Whoa, okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, looks very similar to the Ecovac system. Uh, like I said, this is like the suction port and there's an air uh, inlet right here. So it sucks the air into here in the dirt and air goes out this way. So here's underneath the self emptying bin. Uh, looks like we can take the screws out if there's a clog, can remove this little plastic plate, uh, clear out any clogs, and these are the anti-slip feet. And like the Ecovac system, you do have a way to wrap the cable around. Now let's go and uh, check the top here. I think you just open it up here. And this is how you uh, pull out the bag. Very simple. And you guys can see inside there. Yep. Very nice. So you should get about one to three uh, months worth of dirt using these large uh, bags here. And we just kind of plop it back in here. Close the lid. Alright, so overall, I think this is a nice little vacuum. I will definitely do some testing on this and I'll do an in depth review video. But this was just a first look. I'm um, excited to see how well the Z10 Pro does and we'll see how it stacks to the competition like the Roblox S6 Max V, the S7, maybe like the 360S9, and some of the competitors I've tested on this channel. Alright, you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. See you later and thanks so much for watching.